What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of Minecraft Let's Play here on the Xbox One. So guys, as you can see, we now have two beacons. And the reason is because in between episodes I went ahead and I killed the Wither one more time. And actually I went to the Nether to get some Blackstone and I popped on over to our fortress just for the heck of it to get some Blaze Rods. And I ended up getting another four more Wither Skulls in like five minutes. So I figure... Why not? Let's uh, start this episode off by facing the Wither. We have uh, Strength 2, Regeneration, and Resistance. And I actually need my armor. <laughs> not a good idea to face the Wither without armor. So we're going to go ahead and grab our chest plate here real quick. Uh, I actually took a tip from, I believe it's SEQQ2A. And he said to use arrows of instant health on the Wither. And I did that actually for our second beacon, and he was right. It, like, makes a giant difference. It, he goes down so fast. So I appreciate the help with that. So we don't have a giant inventory here, guys. Just got some health potions, golden apples, you know, our regular kill-everything tools. And that, that's about it. So I guess uh, let's get this party started and uh, hopefully... Oh, yeah, that's right. I'm going to turn down my chunks here real quick. Ah, oh, there it is. Render distance. So we're going to turn our render distance down to nine chunks, which is four chunks less than what we usually play on. But like I said, just so this doesn't like lag like crazy because I have particle effects and everything. So I guess uh, here goes nothing. This is going to be interesting to say the least. You going to explode? There he goes. Yeah, look how much damage these arrows do. Nope. Come on, reload. Ugh. All right, starting to get a little laggy here. Yeah, see? Oh, there's so many particle effects from using these arrows. It's like completely wrecks your game. Yeah, he's already down to bow mode. We're gonna go ahead, pop a golden apple here real quick. Oh gosh. I physically cannot see. All right, where'd he go? Oh gosh. Did get a wither rose somehow. Go ahead and use some of that and some of that. All right, we're doing okay. Where'd he go? Oh yeah, look at this lag, look at this flame drop. And this is with, of course, diminished, you know, chunks. Where you go? Come on. Uh, get over here. Uh, ah. Okay, he's down. Go ahead here, drink our milk. Oh, I already lost the wither effect. That was easy. That was a whole heck of a lot easier than the first time we ever faced him. And now we have three beacons, if I can ever... There we go, I got the nether star. Go ahead and pick up some of these blocks, too. So I'm going to assume if I got a wither rose... I got two wither roses. So I'm going to assume he killed two out of his three skeletons. But, alright guys, well we got ourselves yet another beacon. So we have three, so we're almost at mega beacon level. And I actually might just end up keeping these beacons out here. And, uh, oh boy. And just adding, uh, I don't know if you can get better regeneration, but, I mean, we really didn't need it that level. I just kind of didn't want to die because I don't have any totems. So, all right. Well, next part of our agenda, guys, is to head to the nether. And we have to get more blackstone. And that is because we were working on the parking lot to our factory. I was doing some thinking, guys. So... Now that we have Strength 2, we have Regeneration, and we have Resistance, do you think it's worth it to get Resistance 2, or, you know, do, do you think I need more Beacon Effects to really face the Wither anymore? Because, let's face it, we just took him down there, and I mean, yeah, we did have to use a couple Health Potions, but those are pretty easy to brew, so what do you guys think? Like, 
leave me some comments down below. Let me know if there's any other like beacon effects maybe that I don't know about that you know would be useful in defeating the wither easier so we can just have mountains of beacons. So of course it's been a couple days since you guys have seen me last and I changed out the design on the side pillars here and now that I'm looking at it I'm actually going to continue this up because that straight stone brick is kind of boring and then we added that black stone accent up top and then we built these little like pyramid structures and that is of course where the name of the company is going to go and then up here I just put down some black concrete powder and I started putting in like you know, little air conditioners and stuff like that. There's, of course, going to be, like, a giant chimney. I think it's probably on, like, this side or probably this side. So, you know, we'll have to add that. And then I started putting cauldrons up here because it snows up here. And in 1.17, if it snows in a cauldron, you can actually get powdered snow, which is a new block. Uh, I haven't figured out really how to use it, but <laughs> it's definitely there. So I finished off this side of the factory and... That is just, like, you're not going to see a lot of this bottom part. But I put these garage doors in. And, of course, this one's, like, partially open. You know, maybe let some air in. And then this one's closed off. And we needed the Blackstone, actually, to finish off the parking lot. Because I got, you know, that far. And then I just needed more. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and we're going to hit a quick time lapse. And we're going to go ahead and get this done. care of the parking lot that was a pretty quick and easy structure i'm not too sure if i'm too crazy about these lights right here this i might change i'm not too sure about that but just got to add one more door right there and of course we're gonna since we have villagers in here we're gonna have to use iron doors that way they can't get out and we're gonna have to light this building up but yeah so we have enough parking for of course four or five employees and then we're also going to have a parking lot out front here. And I haven't decided exactly on the front entrance yet, but that's something we're definitely going to do this episode because I want to have it landscaping and I want to have like a nice front entrance. But this will be like a side access door and then that'll be the main office. And then the factory will actually start up here. So down here will actually be, you know, the like main lobby. And then, of course, we put our stalls in. We can put our clay in this one. And then we can put our logs in this one. Because as far as I know, I mean, my knowledge of making bricks comes from American pickers. So <laughs> it's not like I have a vast knowledge of brick making. But they use wood and clay. And then they smelt it in a kiln. So that's going to be about... Oh, I could have made this into slabs. I'm an idiot. But anyways, yeah, so we're just going to roll with that, and that's going to be how we're going to make bricks. So let's go ahead and let's go ahead and design the front of this building, and hopefully it'll stop snowing by then. Okay, guys, so I went a little bit banana sandwich here, but that's okay. And we got the outside gardens done. I actually have the wood to do this. It's in my chest over there. I just didn't do it yet. But we got an entrance onto the place. We're going to hang some lanterns, you know, make it look a little decent. Put a glass door in here. And then you walk into here and this is the waiting room. And then, of course, this is like the hallway where like delivery guys can like drop off packages and stuff like that. If they want to pull in here. And then they have their own side entrance or like, you know, the guys who deliver stuff and get their manifest signed. And then we're going to come over here, turn up here. And then this will take us up into the actual factory. 
So right now I actually need a little bit more quartz. And yeah, I mean, actually gonna need a lot more quartz. But yeah, we got actually all the lighting in. Got the lighting in down this hallway and we still have plenty of end rods left over. I'm gonna put, I think, red glass in here to kind of stick with the theme of the red. I think that would look best, either red or white. I don't know yet, but yeah, we're gonna go ahead and do that. And like I said, we'll get this staircase and we'll turn it up over here. Well guys, back in another to collect some quartz and may as well get some gold while I'm here just to trade with the hoglands. But yeah, I'm gonna mine quartz here for... Okay, well, thorns evidently paid off. But I'm going to mine quartz here for probably about 20 minutes. We're not going to stay here super long. And uh, yeah, I don't need many blocks. I already got 52 and then you figure we can fortune those. So it's not too big of a deal. There's a lot of shroom rates around here. All right, guys. So 20 minutes of mining equals that much quartz. <laughs> so I got my fortune three pick right here. Nope. It's right here. So I got my fortune three pick. So we're going to go ahead and fly on up there. And we're going to fortune three all of this. So I want you guys to, of course, guess. How much quartz do you think that is? Now, I'm going to give you a hint. It's like four and a quarter stacks of nether quartz just block. And I'm going to fortune three it. So leave your guesses down below and let me know what you think. I missed. Well, guys, I finally managed to get on top of that tower and mine all the quartz. And we got about nine and a half stacks of quartz, which, as you know, once you make it into quartz blocks is really not a lot. <laughs> what was that? Two and a half stacks almost. But, yeah, we got everything here that we need to go finish the factory, or at least the part of the factory we're working on. So I say let's go power power down and let's let's get this finished.
Okay, guys, our factory lobby is now complete. So you walk into this semi-menacing building, and of course that lightning could not have come at a better time. I put my glow, glow rods back, so, you know, end rods. So we'll just toss those in later, but you guys get the point. Come in here, of course got some fine artwork, of course on both sides as you walk in. And you can wait to go into the factory. Walk over here, and this is where you will go into said factory. Of course, we got to lay the floor and actually build the factory, which we will be doing next episode. Oh, I really hope that isn't striking anything near my house. And then this hallway hasn't changed, guys, but I did put the windows in. I went with white stained glass because I think it really does look the best. And we'll go ahead and take a look at it out here. But, yeah, I mean, I think they look the best. Kind of, like you know, it goes well with the red. So, yeah, guys. Got a ton of progress, got the parking lots in, the holding cells for all the materials, and then, of course, in between, I did all the extra stuff. So, fairly eventful episode, we got a lot done. Uh, next episode, guys, we will build the insides of the factory and hopefully get our villagers in there. So, guys, if you enjoyed this very snowy and cold episode, please remember to subscribe, leave a comment, and, as always, hit that like button. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.